We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to hit new all-time highs and break through key resistance levels. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot from yesterday's notification at 1.10 p.m., it sent out a bull indicator. The strength lasted from yesterday into today, and an hour after the open, Call options went up 300% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, breaking through key resistance levels and fighting to hold support. And in today's video, we're gonna break down the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. But before we do, I wanna share with you guys the home and opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run today was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run today was from our Tesla bot, our Tesla bot at 945 a.m sent out a bull indicator and from that moment forward inflows cross the midpoint to the upside full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 150 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us, and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump to these charts. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to break through key resistance levels and doing a full transition from the dip area to multiple rip areas of bright green bars. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index back under a bull indicator since yesterday at the 534 level and breaking out of the tight consolidation that we were watching here between the 533, 532 level up towards 536, 537, right? If it could break through 537, we were watching 540. And then here we are above those levels, hitting highs up here and rejecting three times at the 544 level. So definitely something to not ignore. It is acting like a huge resistance. And we're going to break down some key levels here in just a moment. But it wasn't just the spy pushing upwards. You have the QQQ here under a bull indicator since Monday at 462 you have tesla here under a bull indicator since today in the pre-market at 170 you have apple breaking out to new highs here above 200 with a bull indicator since 192 yesterday and the first bear indicator has popped up up here near the 216 level so something to not ignore here on apple and overlook this has been an explosive move for apple stock and then you have netflix here within a tight consolidation right it had a bull indicator popped up towards 654 655 and it's back under a bear indicator and back below that resistance of 650 so i would not ignore these charts they're going to be crucial and critical to watch closely especially apple and netflix 
as they're back under bear indicators. Now, the SPY on the 30-minute has a bull indicator, but when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour, a bear indicator has been canceled as well. The one from the pre-market at 534 with a bull indicator there at the 534.30 level, and that staircase effect has continued, right? Now, the question mark is, could those inflows continue and push up even higher going into tomorrow? And that's what we're going to break down in just a moment and pull up in these charts. Now, on the 15-minute, the bull indicator has lasted since yesterday at the 533 level, and this is the first bear indicator that pops up at the 542.40 level. So something to not ignore here in this chop, if it continues to dominate and outflows follow, we may test key support levels and that's something to not overlook. Now I'm gonna pull up the inflow versus outflows and break down the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index with inflows dominating in the first half of the day. We could see that push from 537 up to 544 rejecting and in the process of trying to hold itself up and find support above 540 outflows were starting to dominate and they've crossed over guys we're at outflows of negative 1.78 i would not ignore this it is flat though and the chart is trying to push upwards but to justify any move upwards these inflows need to begin and that's something i will be watching going into tomorrow now in the bigger picture of the one hour we could see here how inflows have continued to dominate, right? Throughout this whole entire consolidation towards yesterday, those outflows never dominated. It found support, it pushed upwards, and those inflows began, right? Now, outflows still aren't dominating here on this pullback, so it's something to not ignore, but inflows, even though they're red, they're positive 1.35. I will be watching if this could stay above it, and turn back to green because if it continues downwards and crosses it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts now if we zoom into the volatility of the 15 minute we could go ahead and see here in the volatility how outflows crossed over that's the volatility and tight consolidation that we had here from 543 544 down towards 540 50 and now it's bounced back up and inflows are back above in the volatility of these charts it's going to be crucial for these inflows to stay above because if they cross to the downside it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts and the first support i'll be watching is 540 if that weakness rolls over into the 30 minute continuing even lower and on the one hour pushing it towards the midpoint then i'll be watching 538 and then comes the 536 level so these are the key levels I'll be watching to the downside. To the upside, it's going to be crucial and critical here for these inflows to continue pushing upwards, break out of this tight consolidation of 540 to 544, test the highs of the day, which is 544, and then that resistance needs to be turned into a support to continue that staircase effect and roll that strength over into the 30 minute, pushing these inflows back up as well switching from red to green that is something i will not ignore here it is going to be critical to justify any further move to the upside these inflows need to follow and those inflows need to stay above here on the one hour chart right we want to see it switch from red to green as well and if 544 gets broken through in that tight range the next resistance is 545 and then i'll be watching the 547 level so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows here within the volatility and the 30 minute and one hour it's going to be crucial for them to start pushing up away from the midpoint to justify any move to the upside or any retest of any key resistance level as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money